Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video. <sighs> so I feel like lately I've just been like in a huge ass I can't even talk. I feel that lately I have been like in a huge ash rush for everything. Like my errands never seem to cease to finish. My work never seems to finish. And I feel like I have less and less time for the things that I want to do. Like talk to you guys. So today is Monday, April 19th. I'm filming this video. I plan on getting this video out today. I have other videos that I have been wanting to film and get out. Like I have a Fashion Nova bag of clothes that are waiting on me to unpack and try on. And I have some affordable makeup that I bought at TJ Maxx or like Marshalls that also I want to show you guys what I found. My, I guess, treasures. Then I also have like another Ross haul which is primarily clothing that I'm actually like trying to try on for you guys um it's just a lot I feel like a bit overwhelmed with work so um from the title of the video you can see that your girl's about to eat with you and I'm gonna just catch you up on like what's happening in my life like you guys fucking care so if you do care or you like this type of video comment down below because honestly, like, I have all those videos to do, but this was basically going to kill two birds with one stone, feed myself, um, which needs to be done, and also film a video for you guys. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. So I did get pick up some sushi from H-E-B. If you guys are from Texas, then you guys already know what's up. H-E-B is a grocery store in South Central Texas, which is slowly making its way like everywhere. I'm like, is this focusing on me? What happened to my lighting? Bitch. Okay, I hope this is focused on me, guys. Let's see. Bitch, are you gonna focus on me? Okay. I think it's focused on me. Hopefully it's focused on me. If it's not focused on me, shit. Like, could anything else go wrong? I'm like, looking for that sweet spot lighting where you at. Okay, so, um, anyway, so I got some sushi, specifically the spicy California roll. <laughs> What's up? This is like my guilty pleasure. I love this. I really don't do mukbangs, probably because I'm fat and you guys are just gonna judge me even worse. And I wouldn't even say this is like overindulging. I would probably eat this normally to VH. So if that's overindulging to you, okay. And um, I also got an a w Coke. I guess zero sugar, so there's that. And then I got a little bit of Bark Fins right here these are dark chocolate almond and sea salt so i'm here for it so let's just get right in it the sushi is amazing amazing by the way cupcake's like chilling right here with me i don't know y'all can see her there she is there she is. You can't have none of this. No, no, no. She's so stinking cute. Alright, so, um, I guess I'm supposed to catch you guys up on my life. So, one of the reasons why I can't film, like, the other videos that I want to film, like, the Fashion Nova stuff, like, I really need to do it, is... I, those of you who don't know me, I have been working from home, I guess for over a year now, since March of last year. This past week I went to, back to work in person and it's just been a lot. 
I feel like there are less hours in the day, probably because I got to commute to and from. And I don't accomplish as much around my home because I'm not here at home. And then like errands and stuff because I feel like there's less hours in the day. And because I feel more tired going back to work, like I have less time to do shit. So one of the things that I'm having to do is I didn't tell you guys this and I don't know I don't know I guess I'm kind of private but I'm out there I mean I don't know um during spring break I didn't tell you guys before I took that couples trip when I was on my way home from going back home which is Lubbock those of you who don't watch my channel like basically on my way back I got pulled over got a ticket I got a ticket for going 20 miles over the speed limit, which I think he was just there trying to catch a bitch because he was on the side of the road and literally he pulled me over and then right in front of me was like the speed limit changing to like 70 or whatever. So I would have still been over by five miles, but literally like he set me up. Anyways. Um... So I got a speeding ticket and my registration was out, whatever, judge me. I have issues with like being an adult in general, so I mean, I guess, whatever. Anyways, so I think I want some soy sauce. I never really have the soy sauce, but I kind of want some. Okay. So anyways, like I was saying, what was I saying? I want to see if this soy sauce hits or not. Okay, so anyways, I got a ticket, or two tickets actually, and I've been trying to take care of them, but to take the defensive driving course that I'm trying to take instead of having to pay the ticket for speeding, like literally there's like a list of things that I have to turn in which kind of sucks because I've been trying to get it all together and I know I could have been more productive but I didn't get things done and so I'm trying to get things done now <laughs> aka tomorrow is my court hearing which I don't have to attend if I get the stuff turned in and if I don't get the stuff turned in then basically I have a court hearing that says you didn't fill out this paperwork for defensive driving so now you got to pay the full ass ticket which honestly i feel like i think i saw on the notice that the full ass ticket's like 304 dollars for one of those tickets but it's also like i'm having to pay like 140 dollars for it so i guess it's like cut in half but all the legwork that i'm having to do i'm almost really just like bitch like just fucking give me the ticket i guess like that's kind of like how I feel but honestly I've already gathered all the stuff basically so actually I'm eating this right now then I'm gonna get in my car drive my happy ass over an hour to the small town that I got pulled over on and drop off the documents in their drop box why because my ass didn't mail it off in time so who can I be mad at myself but also like I feel like I prioritize my shit pretty good but I'm always fucking busy like everything has a spot and like fuck I tried but I was not successful and so now it's a Monday and I have to work tomorrow by 7 30 be there and I'm just got home after running errands trying to get all these documents together which I had some of them but I had to get a document notarized and I had to go buy a money order just like shit like that so now it's Monday evening and after I finish this I'm gonna go drive my happy ass over to like this small town to go drop off these documents and then come back home try to get ready for tomorrow hopefully put this video up for you guys and hopefully get some rest for tomorrow that's all I gotta say because it's like an hour plus there and an hour plus back but I would say like it's an hour and 15 minutes but that's just kind of depressing but that's kind of like what's on my mind I guess then anyways so 
I went back to work and all that, which has been fun. No, it hasn't been fun. Um, I said there's been some work drama that has happened within me and my group of friends at work. And I don't think I'm really ready to talk about it on here yet. Because I still think like some things are still unresolved. At least in my opinion. From my perspective. I don't really think they watch my channel. So I don't think any of them will actually see this but. There's that. And. Then. Oh the other thing that's been happening. I'm kind of really excited about it. I don't know. I've never been to Disney World, like ever. And this summer, my whole ass family, like my whole ass immediate family basically, except for maybe my niece and nephew who are like adults, they might not go. Everybody else is going. And we're going to Florida and it turns out you really can't eat and talk at the same time. And honestly, you guys, if I was eating something else, I'd be giving her some, but I'm not giving her sushi. I don't know about all that. Um. Anyways. Like I was saying. So one of my sisters like two years ago. She moved to Florida with her husband. And for like a job or whatever. And they lived in Miami. And I so regret this with all my heart. That while they lived in Miami. I didn't go visit them. But I will say like. They moved like in the summer. So I didn't go immediately. And then by like right after the next summer. Or during the next summer. No. Then the next summer was COVID and I wanted to go for my birthday, but they were not feeling comfortable to even go out anywhere. So I'm like, like I get it. And then shortly after last summer, they moved. So that was really crazy. So now they're living in Tampa. So we're, my whole family is going to go out there and most of my family is just going to go for a few days. I plan on being there like two freaking weeks and um, we're supposed to, we're looking into like having a beach day. Everybody wants to rent like jet skis. So hopefully we get to rent a jet ski. And of course I'm going to vlog. They already told me they're like, um, so do we get paid to be in your vlog? I'm just like, no, <laughs> like bitch, I wish I got paid to be in my own vlog. But anyway, so yeah, there's that. And some of us on a separate day, not on that weekend, like, because um, I have another sister and her family. They're going to be there like a whole ass week, too. Um, another day, we're going to go to Disney. Which I'm really excited about. Because I've never been been. I've been to, like, downtown Disney one time when I was younger. I was at like 20, between 22 and 24. I went with like a group of people that I was doing like, I guess, I was doing an internship with some production team. I don't really want to go into that. But, they took us to like downtown Disney. And it was okay. I mean, you got to see all the shops and all the cute shit, but not the rides or like the real magical stuff. I want to say we actually saw some characters out there, so that was kind of cool. Um, so, we're going to go to Disney. We are going to go to Disney because, you know, I'm going to vlog that. And I guess I'm just really excited for that, so we've been planning that. One of my sister and her family, they have like a timeshare in different places. So they're going to give me a badass deal at a hotel room or suite at Disney. So you guys are going to be able to see that. 
I'm pretty excited. And um, so, yeah. I still have a giveaway coming to you guys. Um, I, are you okay? She does that sometimes, guys. Are you okay? I low key think she has allergies because, like, she gets this little stuff on her eyes recently. And she's been doing that recently. Like, she's done it before. But she's been doing it a lot more recently that I think, like, maybe she has allergies or something. Dude, this sushi is delicious. And this the soy sauce is hitting. Like, I never do the soy sauce. I was like, damn, y'all can see that. That's cool. So, I never do, like, the soy sauce. But today, bitch, is... Um, this is so good though. Mm. So good. Um, how could I almost forget? So, since the couple's video, I didn't tell you really what had went down. But now that it's like... I think it's over, over. I say I think. Bitch, it's over, over. I told you guys that we were never really anything. Like, he was trying to put a label on. Now, okay, if you're new to my channel, hi, bitch, hi, welcome, how are you? I have two other videos about the same topic. This part's not going to make sense. It's not going to make any sense. So, if you are new to my channel... You should stop this. Go watch those other two videos. We're talking about couples, beach trip. There's actually three. There's the actual vlog and then like two videos of me like spilling the tea about what happened. So go watch that. Then come back and watch this. Because then this is going to make a lot more sense. And if not, this is going to spoil it for you. And whatever. Okay, so. Excuse me, I'm like burping and shit. Now that everyone's caught up, welcome back. <laughs> um, okay, so Aaron and I, after the beach trip, here we go. So after the beach trip, I didn't see Aaron low-key for like three weeks. Uh, three fucking weeks. And I know, I know. We were communicating, but even after the trip, I told you guys, he was acting kind of sketch, like really not hitting me up. And then it almost seemed like he was trying to like just i don't know what the word is what am i trying to say like kind of like brush the si whole situation like under the rug like oh yeah that happened but it's been so long now so let's brush it under the rug throughout that time over the phone we ended up hashing it out a couple of times and then we were texting a little here and there you guys know from my tea spills sessions at that I wasn't like that into him. You guys also know that, like I didn't, I don't know. I don't know, I just wasn't that into him, period. And um, so like if he messaged me, cool. If he didn't message me, cool. Like I'm, I'm not twisted either way. Well, three weeks end up passing and we finally end up seeing each other. But I low-key think, like, he was a little scary. Like, he didn't want to, like, hang out and me be, like, all crazy on his ass. Because, like, I don't know. With me, you guys can comment down below how you guys are. But, like, for me, I cannot deal with somebody who, like, tries to brush their problems underneath the rug and not deal with those. I understand, like, sometimes you might not be able to, like, deal with them right there in the moment. But it's, like... Be a grown-ass man about it. Let's talk about it. Because whether or not you think you were wrong, I think you were wrong. No, but, like, let's talk about it. So you can help me see your perspective, too. Like, what the fuck? Anyways, so, finally, we ended up hanging out, like, three weeks later. Guys, guys, guys. Guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't know he pissed me off like for the last fucking final time 
Now this is like TMI, so I don't even know if I'm gonna include it, but bitch is gonna tell you guys, and then I guess I'll decide if I'm gonna include it or not. Oh shit, this, we're going there, we're going there. We're going there. Cause I don't feel like making a whole other video about it. So. Mm. Okay, so today's Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was one week since the last time I saw him. Yesterday was also the day that I decided to end things with him. So, along with all the other shit that I do not appreciate, I didn't like about him, or the things that I felt like I was tolerating, or the things that we argued about and stuff, like, I don't know. Like, I felt like me, myself, I was, like, how can I say this? Like, I was definitely settling, like, by being with him. And I know I told you guys, like, we were nothing. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. But I knew how he felt about me. And he kept trying to put me in that category. And I kept fighting that and saying that I wasn't in that category. Um... But in a lot of ways, I felt like I was settling because I was scared, honestly. I was scared that even though I told them, no, I don't want to be your girlfriend, like, you haven't asked me or like, no, we're just dating, it's whatever, like, we're just getting to know each other. Like, I'm all, like, I need more food in my belly. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. Okay. So. Alright, sorry. My camera ran out of memory. I had to delete something real quick. Anyway, so like I was saying, I just kind of felt like I was settling kind of like in the sense like I was seeing this person since January. I saw red flags since the very beginning, but yet I was still entertaining this person and we're in April. And I was really scared that although I was taking it lightly or in my eyes I thought I wasn't taking it serious or anything like that, I kind of like all of a sudden came to the realization this is how bitches end up in like crazy ass relationships that they don't want to be in. And I just thought to like myself, like, I need to nip this in the butt or like in a year from now, I'm going to be in a full on relationship with this person despite all these red flags in the beginning. So, um, Sunday when I saw him, a situation occurred, which I'm not that excited to go into detail about. So I think I'm going to save that maybe for a later time. Um, but fast forward, just know that it ended poorly last Sunday and I asked him to leave my place and fast forward yesterday, he's messaging me and he tried messaging me a couple of times throughout the week. We ended up communicating and having a conversation yesterday and while we're on the phone talking, essentially... I just told him like yo this isn't working it hasn't been working like last week like I don't want you to think like it was just one isolated incident it's everything that has been going on all the red flag I didn't say red flags I said all the arguments all the like bullshit like I think a lot of it is like your immaturity like you're younger than me like I don't know like I just kind of feel like we're on two different pages and I can't really blame him for that because he is younger than me and I can't expect him to be who I need him to be if he's not there yet. And like I feel like in a lot of ways or at least in some ways that he has made an effort and he has tried and I fucking see that. But at the end of the day like if I'm not that fucking into him. I need to do the right thing because my feelings are getting confused and I know how he feels about me and I just have to fucking cut the cord and those of you who know me know like oh, fuck, I can cut bitches off left and right friends 
friends who I'm a freaking loner I don't fuck with nobody because of people piss me off boom I'm done but talk to me about men like I have issues in the sense like I don't know even when I was younger and they were just crushes like people I didn't have relationships with on any kind of level besides like friends or acquaintances like I held on to those crushes like forever so if somebody wants to diagnose me go the fuck on but like um so I guess when it comes to like relationships or situationships like sometimes it's really strong uh, it's really hard so even though like I decided to end things I found myself yesterday throughout the day because it happened around like 12 o'clock or something like that and he really wanted to meet up and I refused to meet up with him I told him why do you want to meet up for me to have the same fucking conversation that we're having right la now like I don't want to see you anymore like this is not working like that was the last straw that broke the camel's back like I'm done and he I don't know he just seemed to be very apologetic and stuff and he had told me after I had kicked him out on last Sunday he had messaged me like saying that I've deserved so much better and blah 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 and I told him yesterday you because he, he was like you do deserve so much better like blah 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 and I was just like I think we both do I think you deserve somebody who understands you better and somebody basically like your own age or yeah like basically like your own age and uh, maybe they would be more understanding like of his foolishness because they're fucking foolish too like they're not there yet but a bitch has arrived hello and so I need somebody who has some who has arrived too I guess and um I don't know it was like it's something I wanted to do obviously I was the one who did it like I could have easily said okay yeah I know like people fuck up like I want to see you because he wanted to see me yesterday and wanted to take me out and all this and that and I don't know I just said you know this is how people end up in toxic relationships or bad relationships you keep taking people back and you guys don't even have a fucking label and you're feeling like this way like you definitely should not be dealing with this and I don't know he was like basically started crying on the phone that I was like low key like high key I was like crying on the phone not like hardcore not for a long time but I did cry a little bit because it's just like so hard like I'm doing this and you don't get the picture like you keep trying to say sorry you keep trying to see me and you keep trying to say you know like well I don't know if you want to see me today like bitch did you not hear me I, I'm telling you that this is not working I'm telling you that I don't want to see you that I don't want to be communicating with you and stuff and I don't know like even now I'm still kind of sad about it like guilty sad but also just like kind of sad sad but I also had to come to like the realization that I felt like me myself I felt like part of the reason why I entertained this person for so long despite not thinking it's a good fit is because honestly like I am at a stage in my life where I have been entertaining the thought for a while now that I want to find somebody to be committed to and that's not a way that I felt like basically ever um before I think when I was younger I used to say that but you guys don't really know like my history but I don't know like growing up really didn't have boyfriends or anything like that so of course that's something that I wanted and as it became like a independent adult an independent person I didn't see the need necessarily to have somebody like if I can provide all these things for myself like having somebody around would be like a bonus and that and I've said it multiple times on my channel like I'm a loner like I'm perfectly capable to sustain okay I'm perfectly capable to sustain my own happiness 
being alone. Like I don't necessarily need other people to make me happy. So when I like moved to Austin, I moved here not knowing anyone and left all of my family basically. And as I went through my first year working with the people that I worked with, I was not pressed in the least to really make friends with very many people. Um, so yeah, I mean, so I guess I broke up with somebody who we weren't ever official with. And I will say that yesterday and today I just kind of been, I don't know, he's been on my mind and I kind of really want to reach out. But I think that's part of me, like, the cl not the clingy, but I don't even know what you call it. Because I'm telling you, like, even when I had crushes growing up, like, those those things took forever to die down. And um, I just get, like, I don't know if it's attached or just infatuated or the ideal of something. And I think I started to say this, but I just had to come to the understanding, like, even though I want a relationship, I can't settle for, like, the first person, not the first person, but, you know, like, the somebody who's just, like, fucking nice to me, somebody who's respectful majority of the time. When I see all these other red flags where the way we think or our belief system or values, not even, like, religious, but, like, our values or like our understanding of the world is so much different. And honestly, I just feel like it's an experience thing. And I think that he tried, but at the end of the day, like I cannot live my life in that much of a tumultuous relationship. So I did like in things, I guess, with Aaron and uh, I guess I just don't, I'm not trying to cry. I just don't know how to feel about it. I think I just entertained him, you know, like I was saying, because so many guys nowadays, they don't want a fucking relationship. Guys my age, guys older than me, guys younger than me, like, they don't want that. They want one thing. And it gets to the point where it's very frustrating and annoying and it seems like fuck everyone. <laughs> Not literally, but like fuck everyone because y'all suck. And so it's like somebody who wanted that with me, I entertained it for too long even though I knew like it wasn't a good match. So, I guess any advice you guys got for your girl, like, put it down below. Like, I'm definitely not an expert at relationships or expert at dating. Um, and it's crazy because I just, like, take things for granted. Like, I'm in control all, out of, of all this. Like, I don't really like them, but I want to keep them along and blah, blah, blah. And then things got a little cloudy and even though I was I still felt like I was in control and I was the one to be like I don't want to see you anymore like I don't know it doesn't feel good and I thought I could be more of a bitch about it but it didn't feel good and it doesn't feel good now so yeah I know we didn't get into the bark fence, but no, your girl's going to sit here and eat a couple before I go on my hour drive to go drop those things in the drop box. And then I'm going to come back and hopefully upload this video for you guys. And hopefully this background's not that dirty or messy. Um, but it was fun, guys. I like you guys. I love you guys. Comment down below your advice for... The whole Aaron situation and how I'm feeling now. Um, if any of you guys have returned back to work and it sucks, commemorate, commiserate, commiserate. No, uh, just comment down below. Let me know so we can be sad together. Um, and then um, if you guys have been to Disney and you guys have some advice or things to do in Florida. 
let your girl know because I will be there for two weeks this summer. Um, but yeah, I guess until next time. Bye.